Shovelhead 8. Uh, welcome to another cast Iron Wednesday. We're making today Maple Johnny Cake or a northern style cornbread if you're from the south. Uh, so you have white flour, cornmeal, salt, and baking powder, and something fell. A beaten egg, or two beaten eggs, a third of a cup of maple syrup, because it's Canada, and two thirds of a cup of milk. Oh, and, and some butter, I almost forgot. Anyways, this comes out of a, a, a book I've had for a long time, out of Old Nova Scotia Kitchens, by Marie Nightingale, Nightingale. and it's Maple Johnny Cake. I'm going to try this one here, spider cornbread, uh, next week or so. So anyways, uh, we better get going so I can get this done. So first things first, we put, take our, all our dry flour, cornmeal, soda, powder and salt, and whisk it together. And then we take our liquid ingredients, eggs, let's get one of them spatula things. Anyway. Melted butter or shortening they called for, but butter's better. Our maple syrup. Our milk, and we'll twist that together like that. Put our wet and our dry, and I'll save you. Watch me mix it up. Okay, we're going to move our shot. We have our batter together. We have a vintage cast iron frying pan heating up in the oven. Which we're going to butter really quick. The cheese are hot. And we'll put our Johnny cake batter in. Yeah, a little thick. Next time I'll thin it out a bit more. Oh well. You only find out by doing her. Yeah, oh, hopefully a little flat. Oh. If not, who cares? And into the oven it goes for 20 minutes. And we turn this, the fan on so the smoke alarm won't go off. So we'll come back when we're, we're baking. And we're ready to pull it out. And there it is. Uh, would have been smoother if I would have put the batter wouldn't have been quite so thick. But that's fine. It's fully cooked. So, anyways, let's uh, go to our plating, I guess. And here we go. I gotta keep reminding myself that this is extremely hot. But being as it's cornbread, it's best if it's served hot. And there you go. That's steaming. So we'll uh, make my plate up and it'll be ready for the DIY dark matter taste test. Yeah, 
Anyways, today we're going to put do a two and one. We're going to do our plating and our DIY dark matter taste test all in one shot. The dogs aren't here to help me because they're visiting somebody else that has more cornbread than I do. So we're just going to put some butter on. And maple syrup because it's Canada. And we like maple syrup. Now let's we'll see if we can. We have to adjust the camera a little bit. It's hard to do alone, eh? Anyways, uh, here we are doing our taste test. Just me and Timmy. I know it's really good. Anyways, this is a shovel head eight with a mouthful of cornbread uh, or a giant cake. Uh, thank you for watching another Cast Iron Wednesday. Please check out all the other channels uh, doing Cast Iron Wednesday recipes and make your own and post it and we'll pick it up. So, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week. I got a visitor, but he's almost too late.